jam? Y'all wanna, wanna jam to the church jam? It's messed up. Cut me. Cut it, DJ. Cut it. That's right. Give it up one more time for a very funny Barry. Getting funny. That guy is getting good. That's all right. All time black people for doing something positive being in here. We ain't no shooting, no violence. Just people just trying to have a good time, get a place set. That wonderful Jesus. That's wonderful, Lord. Talking about uh, Barack. My, my grandma love Barack. She, you know, she really don't care about his, uh, his policies and stuff. She just liked the fact that he got good hair. He got good hair, Jesus. He got that good greater hair, Lord. <laughs> He's a handsome man. That's good, Grandma. That's great. We got a lot of stuff going. They just had the hurricanes in, in uh, Texas right now. And, uh, you know, I pray for those people. But the strange part, what I was thinking, because I'm, you know, a comedian, I was thinking during Hurricane Katrina, the black people went and stayed with the white folks in Texas. Y'all remember that? And, you know, I wonder if them same white people in Texas go stay, go stay with black folks in New Orleans. Because that's a little different. You know, you go stay with white people, they have it set up for you. You know, they got a guest room. White people got a room they don't do nothing with. It's just a bed in there. It's for guests. That's it. They'll bug you the whole time you're at their house. Won't you ever go to stay with a white person? They will bug you the whole time you're there. You okay? You all right? You need anything? I'm going to bring you some more blankets, some more sheets. My wife's going to cook a little breakfast in the morning, get up early. You're like, just leave me alone, man. Just leave me alone. You go to black people's house, we act like we didn't even know you was coming. <laughs> We'd be all surprised. Is today Thursday? Oh, man. Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday, brother. Oh, no. We got you. We got you. You cool. You're going to be sleeping right here as soon as I move this stuff out the way. Hey, y'all, come here, kids. Come in here and get this, uh, this bike up and stuff. We got company coming over here. Some McDonald's going to open up early in the morning. You go down there. <laughs> Black folks, we is not right. I saw some crazy stuff today over here. I saw a homeless dude with a cell phone. You ever see a homeless guy with a cell phone? <laughs> Fool was talking on his phone and begging for change at the same time. He was like, what's going on, man? How you doing? <laughs> Long time no here, brother. Hey, give me one second. One second. Hey, man, you ain't got... You ain't got a few dollars I could get. I mean, you know. I'm just, you know, trying to grind. You know. Trying to do it the right way. <laughs> I'm happy. I just got my license back. Lord, bless me to get my license. Give it up for me. Driving. Driving. Trying to drive legal, man. I drove that license for five years. You know, it's tough, you know. A lot of people, they be looking at you funny, but you know, that's how you learn how to drive. Drive with suspended license. You, you drive perfect, don't you? You don't make no mistakes. You be stopping at all the stop signs for 5.3 seconds. Can't nobody rush you when you ain't got a license. You're like, man, you better calm your nerves. I ain't getting my car towed because you in a hurry. You better. You'll put your seatbelt on to go up the street. You're like, I don't care if I am going to Carroll House. I'm no click it, no ticket. You ain't about to get me. When well, you ain't got no license, you got x-ray vision. You notice that? You can see stuff normal people can't even see. You can see like eight miles up the road behind a brick wall. You're like, it's the cops up there. He about to run my tags. Police going this way, 90 miles an hour. You still be sweating. He going to turn around on me. He, I know he going to turn around. He, he know I'm bogus. <laughs> what to? Let me ask you, have you ever been so hungry that your breath stank? Anybody? Nobody, all right, all right. Cool. Like you can taste how hungry you are. Ain't nobody ever been sitting at work waiting on lunchtime and smelling your own breath just ashamed of yourself. You're like, ah, oh, this is some crap. How do I get this hungry? Anybody ever been so anybody ever been so broke you had to take money back from your kids that you gave them for like their birthday or something? Like, let me get that five dollars back. You ain't gonna do nothing with it. I gotta get some gas and you playing. This is really. She was nuts. She used to try to trick me with the word we. I hated it. Instead of just telling me to do something, she'd try to get over on me with the word we. She'd be like, punk, and you know what we need to do? We need to get out here and cut this yard. I tell you what, early Saturday morning, we gonna get out of here, we gonna cut this yard. My like, grandma, we ain't about to do nothing. I'm gonna cut the yard. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna help you. I said, I'm gonna help you. You know, all she do is get up there, and help me get the lawnmower, and watch me work all day. She get a, a cup of Kool Aid and sit down. Then she be trying to motivate me while I'm working. We sure ain't doing good, ain't we, Puck? Now all we need to do is get back there and cut that backyard back there. That's all we need to do. Then after I get finished cutting the whole yard myself, she got a nerve to go in the house, get on the phone, call her friends, and start bragging about all the work she did that day. She be like, "How you doing, Joyce? Oh, wonderful, wonderful." 
Lord bless me with the strength to get out there and cut that yard with pumpkin today. Like, Grandma, you ain't do nothing. That ain't. Anybody, parents, ever call you from your room to their room to pass them something that was like right beside them? Make that song. All right, pumpkin, come in here and pass me the emote. I'm ready to change the TV. I get every trying to give a look like this smoke chole is right beside you, Grandma. This ain't even. <laughs> I was raised the old-fashioned way. Like, I was raised in a time when you couldn't even be around grown people when they was talking. Anybody remember that? You couldn't even be in the same room? My grandma would stop our conversation and go off. She will stop. She'd be like, hold on one second, baby. Give me one second. Uh, look here. Get your eyes out my throat, Lord. Sitting here looking all in my mouth, G. Look, get you some business. Grown folks is talking. Like, man, I'd be glad when I'm grown folks. That ain't right. That ain't. Be glad when I am grown folks. <laughs> Thank you very much. I hope y'all enjoyed my portion of the show. Y'all have a good time. You've been great.